Hey guys, welcome back. So, a little late on this, but we have the new jailbreak for the Super NT, and this is uh, the jailbreak for firmware version 5.2. And so let's take a look. Again, this is from Analog JB, uh, who seems to be making the new jailbreak. So let's take a look at release notes real fast uh, as we can see right off the bat it's showing that supports all hardware versions so um, I haven't seen anything on this yet but this is making it sound like the Super NT like the Omega SG also has uh, a hardware revision uh, fixed screen tearing when using Fully buffer mode, fixed spaces and menus so they are highlighted now for consistency. Fixed game genie, turn on, launch system timing and hardware menu. Fixed SNES power pack, turn on, launch system timing and hardware menu. Fixed Hori SGB commander issue. Fixed R Type 3, Super R Type issue. Fixed wing commander, drum sound. Fixed Romancing Saga 3 battle sound. Fixed Final Fantasy 2 slash 4 final boss sound. Fixed Chrono Trigger final boss sound. Uh, fixed, I'm not even going to try that. Augusta 3 graphic issue. Uh, fixed power issue. Uh, power Sokoban graphic issue. Fixed Mega low mania shield graphic. Fixed save game loading for Slayers. Fixed 72 hour Kazo audio bug enabled SPC RAM startup state in the hardware menu. Fixed certain recent homebrew official reproduction cartridges like Wild Guns and Cotton 100% not booting. I think these last ones are actually where it starts with maybe some uh, specific issue or fixes for the actual custom firmware because if we actually look. At firmware 5.1, we can see it starts with the screen tearing when using fully buffer mode, and then it fixes the 72 hour. So we can see that they're the same here, down to here, and then firmware 5.2 was a minor pass through mode menu bug, uh, which I don't even see that he listed here. It's probably just an oversight. So it looks like these ones, starting with the wild guns, uh, looks like maybe fixes that were added specifically for uh, this custom firmware. So fixed copy SNES save RAM reading bugs, fixed copy SNES SDD-1 detection, fixed Fire Emblem 5 patch issue, fixed Rockman X2 speed issue, Fixed when exiting SPC player in 720p no longer resulting in 120 hertz video. And then fixed SPC LED color. So looks like that's about it. Uh, like I said, it does look like this version, unlike some of the other versions, actually has some fixes for people using games that are patched and different things. So uh, kind of cool that he did some extra patches here uh again this is from analog jb and uh, i will link to the firmware in the comment section uh let me know if you plan on using this your experience with it if uh if there's any issues you've had after using it for a while or anything like that and for now uh, i will see you in the next video